Today on this 2015 Chevrolet Cruze, we're going to review and install the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 24882. Alright, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our Chevy Cruze. You notice that you'll only see the receiver opening and the safety chain loops and that's it. The rest of the hitch is hidden behind the bumper. Now this uses a half inch diameter hitch pin hole or your favorite locking hitch pin. And on the bottom here we have a traditional safety chain loop which will work great with a wide variety of safety chains. In this case, pretty much if you're gonna use on a small trailer, you'll probably have a hook just like this. Hitch capacity wise, is gonna be rated for 200 pounds of tongue weight, which is the weight that pushes down on the hitch from your hitch ball or your accessories. Also, the, the hitch does have a pull weight of 2,000 pounds for your trailer. Now you always wanna double check with your owner's manual to make sure how much weight your vehicle can carry and pull. This is our inch and a quarter opening right here. It'd be great for very light towing loads or accessories. Now a lot of times you won't use your hitch for trailing purposes or may never tow a trailer, but it's great for accessories such as this bicycle rack right here. Next we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in some selecting some accessories such as that bike rack we just saw or maybe even a cargo carrier. So from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of our bumper here, it's going to be about three and three quarter inches. From the top of a receiver opening down to the ground, it's looking like about 10 and a quarter inches. Now the tools we use for install is pretty simple. Ratchet, a 13 millimeter socket, 11 16 socket, both deep well, very long extension, and also a torque wrench with a matching 11 16 socket. Now let's go ahead and cover how we install our hitch. Now we've got a lot of room to work with underneath our vehicle here, and this is also an RS model, and that won't interfere with anything as well. Plenty of room, this is actually a really good install to do on your garage floor. First step of our install is go ahead and lower our exhaust to get a little better working room. To do that, we're gonna remove this bolt right here using a 13 millimeter socket. Push up a little bit and pull back. This gives us about an inch or two of working room. Our next step is to install hardware into the frame of the vehicle. We need to install this block and this bolt. The hitch does come with the bolt leader or fish wire tool to help do that. This is going to be pretty easy and simple. Now our hitch is going to attach by using this hole here and this hole here. So to install our hardware, we'll take our bolt leader, push it through the hole we're going to use and out this larger hole here, which will be our access hole. Make sure you don't pull out the rest of your bolt leader from the original hole. Take your block, push into the frame, and then take your bolt and thread it on. Push it into the frame. Let's do it one more time using this hole right here. Okay, now in this case, we'll go ahead and leave our bolt leaders in place. So when we put the hitch up, if we knock the bolts back in, no big deal, we can pull them back through. Now we're gonna repeat that same process over on the driver's side here using these two same holes. All right, now we can go ahead and put a hitch in position. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help put it up there. Now we're gonna take our bolt leaders, put it through the matching holes, and slowly push your hitch up into place, push it over your exhaust and up. Now if you can, push the hitch one way or the other to, to kind of trap the bolt. Remove your bolt leader and install your conical tooth washer with the teeth facing towards the hitch and then install the nut. We'll do one on each side to help stabilize the hitch. All right, now we'll go ahead and remove our other bolt leader and install the rest of our hardware. It'll be the same for all four bolts. Now we'll go ahead and center up our hitch, which basically is pull it straight back and let the holes kind of guide it and you got a little bit of play, put it the way you want it and then we'll go ahead and tighten down our hardware using 11 16 socket. Now we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down using a torque wrench as specified in instructions. We'll do this to all of our bolts. 
All right, let's go ahead and put our exhaust bracket back up into place and reinstall the original hardware. All right, now I'll finish it for a draw tight sport frame trailer hitch receiver, part number 24882 on this 2015 Chevrolet Cruze. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.